It's been a very busy and productive day. Today, the students are gonna finish their one word activity. Hello everyone, welcome to Thursday, January 10th, 2019. I am coming to you at the end of the day because it's been a very busy and productive day. We have done a lot of different things. There's actually one thing that we didn't get to in our agenda, but other than that, we got to everything that we needed to do. Then we went on to start an awesome activity that I've been planning to do with my students since Tuesday, but I just haven't had the time to do it. And it's my one word for 2019 activity. There's a lot of different activities on TPT and on the internet on it, but I just sort of did my own spin on this particular activity. And I'll show you my example so you can have an idea of what I did. And I will also show you some of the student examples. It's still a work in progress. They're not completely done. They'll finish tomorrow, but that's what we did. And then we went through a whole couple of lessons in math. Needless to say, we wrapped up chapter eight, which we started on Tuesday. And tomorrow the students will be taking their topic assessment for that chapter. So right now I'm just gonna show you my one word activity example. So let's do that now. So if you're not familiar with One Word, which is something that was started many years ago by a blogger, she basically wanted to choose one word to focus her year on, and she's been doing that ever since. So my word, if you don't follow me on social media, my handle is Pencils and Magic Ones, just like this channel, and I already posted about my word being believe. Now, this is a flap that I created, and on the inside, I gave the students some options of what they could do up here. I also told them that if they didn't wanna do anything, they didn't have to. So one of the options was to draw themselves, actually putting the word into action, or to just do a collage of the word in different shapes and colors, or they could just do statements that they can tell themselves with the word. For example, my word is believe, so I could have done, I believe I can do this, I believe I can achieve my goals, etc. Then I had them create a paragraph under word, and I did give them a paragraph frame, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I put by my name and then the blank dreamer. This is related to the book that I read to the students on Monday, which is titled Happy Dreamer by Peter H. Reynolds. And I'll show you that cover right now. So this is the book right here. And there is a section towards the end of the book that goes over the different kinds of dreamers that there are. There's so many different kinds of dreamers. So here are the example that the book provides as well as on this page and then every other page was some kind of happy description so that was really cute so this is the part that i'm going to have the students kind of use and look to get inspired to then describe themselves as the dreamer that they want to describe themselves as so mine happens to be the magical dreamer and then these are going to go up on our bulletin board once they're all completed let me see if i can show you some of my student examples that they have been working on today so here are some of my student examples. So you can see the word that they chose for themselves. And some of them are pretty much done with the coloring and decoration at the front. And some of them still need time tomorrow. They will be working on these during their morning work. Since on Fridays, we usually don't have the daily language warm up that we usually do. They can do different activities on Friday. One of them also being ketchup and pickles. So this will definitely be one of our ketchup and pickle assignments. And this is magic. Look how cool the design of the word. And this is really neat as well with the diagonal colors behind the word itself. So those are the student examples. And I can't wait to put these up on our bulletin board. Like I mentioned, it's been a very busy day. And I didn't have a chance to film the students doing their little one word activities. I usually do that because I was on the board showing them different ways that they can create their letters for their word. So let me show you those examples on the board, which I left. They're up there now. I was just showing them how to do different kinds of lettering. So this is what I did. So I have different examples right here on the board and I did put letters next to them because then the students were asking me, how do I write this particular letter in that style? So if they just told me the letter of the style, then I could just easily write it for them down here and show them how to go ahead and write that letter. So that is pretty much what we've been working on today. 
Here is the agenda so you can have an idea. I haven't checked anything off yet. I'm very tempted to do it right now, but I do different color checks and I really don't need to do it right now. It's the end of the day. But as you can see, we got through everything. The only thing we didn't get through was the Florida seal that we're going to do tomorrow. So that's pretty much what we've been working on today. And now I'm just getting ready to gather my things and get going so I can continue the rest of my day with my family. And the other thing that I wanted to show you before I go and move us on to Friday is that I have a new shirt from Lipstick and Littles and it's the Teacher Shark. Do, 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 do your work. I love this shirt. And I also have my Lily Pop lanyard. These are the glass beads and I'll link both in the description box below. All right, so I'm going to gather my things and get going and I will see you tomorrow. But hold up, there was one thing I forgot to show you, which was the paragraph frame that I typed up for the students to write about their one word. So let me do that now. This is the paragraph frame that the students used. And as you can see, I just left some blank spaces for them to fill in their information about their word. And this pretty much helped them structure their paragraph so they can write it completely and include a good explanation about why this word is important and why they picked it. Also over here, I did a digital recreation of my one word as a, an example of what they could do. So this is again something that I did on PowerPoint and I wanted to quickly show you how cool is this. I learned this from another teacher on Instagram. I believe it was the Sweet Tooth teacher. And basically this is just two beliefs. I just copied one and the white one I just made white and then I layered it on top of the white so it can have that shadow effect. And I did the same thing with these graphics. So I copied it and I changed the color so that when I layered it, it has that shadow effect. So that's a really cool trick that you can also do on PowerPoint. The other thing I wanted to show you is this is how I set up the little paper. So it's basically two per page and I just sliced it down the middle. This is the part where they put their word and on this part is where they have the other rectangle that they can either do the different options that I told you and this is where they write their paragraph and buy the blank dreamer and I did variations of this page because if students needed more space for this I was thinking maybe we should add more lines so I do have this for use when I use this activity again in the future and I don't know if I should put this on my TPT store but if you are interested let me know in the comments down below so that's basically my one word activity all right, so that's definitely all for today. And now I'll definitely see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday, January 11th, 2019. Today I am wearing a new shirt that I got from Amazon and I'll link it down below. It is teaching is a walk in the park. Super cute, super funny. I love it. So Friday, yay. And today the students are gonna finish their one word activity. And right now I'm going to finish eating my breakfast. I do have a parent conference this morning and I'm gonna get other things ready for the day because the students are taking different tests today. So I'm gonna work on that and I will make sure to check in back with you later. now the end of the day and we have had a lot of testing happening today they had their do now where they were working on a reading passage and finishing their one word assignment after that we went ahead and reviewed our vocabulary for this week from vocabulary workshop they took their vocabulary test and then they took their reading test when we came back from music we went over their math log that they had for homework this week we went over all the answers and they checked it off with a color pen and then we reviewed chapter eight with 10 little problems before they took their chapter eight test which they felt really prepared for so i have all those three tests that i now need to score and put in my data binder which reminds me that's exactly what what I've been working on. I've been updating all of my data sheets. I wanted to make new data trackers for myself, for my data binder, and for the students. And next week, I'm going to have them work on putting all of that together so that they can graph and chart all of their tests. 
You also saw at the end of the day, I showed a couple of clips of the students working on a Florida seal assignment. Basically, I went ahead and I showed the students the Florida seal. I have this PowerPoint that I put together to go over the state seal so that we went over what they noticed and what they saw represented in the seal. We went over a couple of facts about the seal as well as the design of the seal and what it included. And then I gave them the assignment, which is the sheet that you saw. I'm going to go over the directions, but basically they need to include three original signs from the original seal and then three designs that they choose. So these are ideas of things that are not in the seal that represent our state so that they design a new seal. So this is the paper right here is two circles because over here they have to put great seal of Florida and then the motto in God we trust and inside is where they design their seal. They're not done, this is a work in progress, and then after they're done, they're gonna cut it out, and on an index card, they're going to explain their seal and why they chose those designs. So that's basically what we did for social studies. That's basically a wrap up for today, Friday, and I have to say, I guess this is like a short two day vlog. I will talk to you more about my data sheets that I put together and what I put in my teacher data binder next week. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed coming along this short two day vlog. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.